What's going on? Derek out here with another video. I got my truck driver kit on, man. I got my Bluetooth on, man. Y'all ain't talking about nothing, man. I'm gonna go everywhere with my Bluetooth on, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be one of them people holding my phone. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see what's going on, man. Let me check Big Blue out. Let me see what's going on. Man, I got them tied right on this thing. Man, I got everything right. I'm good to go, man. I'm about to jump up in this thing. Let me check my grill, man. Sometime I'll close my grill back up and see what's going on with this thing, man. Close my hood up, man. I was going down the street the other day. My grill was laying down. Okay. I'm good to go, man. Let me check Big Blue out. I'm going to jump in this thing, man, to get it together. Stay tuned, see what I got for you today. Man, I'm getting ready to roll, man. Let me crank this thing up. Yes, sir, man. Let me get it right, man. Woo! Yes, sir. Good to go. I'll be back in just a second, man. Let me get right. Yes, sir. Man, it look like I found my trailer. Let me see what's going on, man. Let me get over here and check this trailer out. Make sure I got the right trailer, man. I don't want to be messing around. Man, out here looking like a rookie out here, man, getting the wrong trailer and stuff, man. Let me check these tires out before I even hook up to this joint, man. Yes, sir. Look like I'm good to go. Let me make sure it's a lock and everything on the back. Okay, I got my seal on the back. I'm going to check the other side, man, when I hook up to this thing. You know what I'm saying? Let me hook up. So I can get going, man. I got things to do out here, man. I'm out here moving around, man. You know what I'm saying? Moving and grooving, man. I got some other stuff in the works. But this is what I'm working on right now, man. Don't tell them what you might see me doing, man. Let me hook up right quick. check these uh tires on this side and i checked the first side the driver's side when i went over there earlier now it look like i'm good to go these tires good i'd already checked my seal on the side on the back of it i'm at a drop yard out here in memphis man so i'm gonna have to go up here and get my paperwork and everything so i'm good to go man i'm gonna be out here rolling so, man, let me get this paperwork. I'm gonna be on my way, man. I gotta go down to Houston, Texas, man, today. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. That ain't gonna take but a minute. Check the seal, make sure I got the right trailer and the seal number on this thing. I have left before I had the wrong paperwork. I had the right trailer, wrong seal. Let me see what I got. 5349. Hmm. 
me check my paperwork on this thing. Where my seal number at? 5349 595. I'm good to go. 595. Alright, man, it's on and popping. Man, I'm headed for Houston for the day, for the night. You know what I'm saying? I get there and chill out. I'm gonna get another load, man. I'm coming up out of there. Coming back to Memphis, man. It's all good. Man, I'll turn it back on when I get to Houston. Oh, and I'm halfway or something, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the move. Man, I had to stop over here and get me some fuel, man, at the QT. Man, over here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Man, I'm show you what I'm working with. People always say they want to uh, get them an 18-wheeler. They want to buy a truck, man. Let me show you how much fuel I had to get. Oh, that ain't bad, man. It's only got 97 gallons. $399. I stopped short of 400. That's going to take me to Houston, man, from Little Rock over to Houston, man. Then I'm going to have to fill up in Houston. I'm gonna definitely put on here how much it takes to fill it up once I get there. That 97 gallons gonna take me down there, man. You don't wanna waste all your fuel in the tank, man. That's a whole nother video, man, trying to explain to you how much fuel you need to get. And, uh, man, don't put it all in the tank, you know what I'm saying? You'll never have to fill up if you don't have to. So, man, I'm gonna get this fuel. I'm gonna get out of here, man. I'm gonna get moving.
had to let that trailer down a little bit. It was sitting a little bit too high. Let me get my air back up on this thing. check my tires out on this thing normally I do that first before I even hook up to it these trailers normally be pretty good up here at the Home Depot and they keep them uh, clean out and everything okay got me an empty trailer I ain't pick up my next load that's all I need let me check out my lights okay everything good right there random had to pull out I might have to go on the other side check them tires on that side it's a little bit close down through that, man. I ain't gonna fit. When I pull out, I'll check the tires, man. Hopefully them tires pretty good. And I'll be ready to pull out of here for my next load. Let me let the landing gear up. And I'm good to go. You gotta guard your grill when you let that landing gear up, man. You see a lot of truck drivers that's missing teeth, man. That's probably how they got it right there, man. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't paying attention, man, that thing will hit you right in your mouth. Let me see if I can get on this other side. I look like I'm good to go. I'm about to pull out before I check my, my tires. I might can get down on this side. At least I can get the front too. Might be alright. Let me check the east tires. You don't want to get a trailer, man. That's got flat tires already. Okay. I'm good to go. I'm good to get out of here, man. That was easy. An easy dropping hook. And I'm good to go. Let me pull out of here.
right, man. I had to swap that trailer out, man. I ain't like the way that one was looking. This one was looking newer than that one. Uh, if you get a trailer, man, if you go pick up a load, they will reject your trailer if it's kind of dirty or need to be cleaned out, you know what I mean, something like that. And you got to make sure there's no uh, holes in the roof because they'll reject your trailer too. You go up and pick a load pick a load up and they'll reject your trailer. You can't get loaded. You got to go find another trailer. So I found one that looked a little bit better than the one I had. So, man, I just swapped it out and hooked up to that one. Man, let me get going, man. Now I'm on the pop it, man, to go pick up the next load. When you pick up your empty, man, you got to come out with the doors open. That way they can see it's empty and everything. So let me shut my doors and I'm good to go. Good to go. Got my doors closed up, man. Now I can head to the next spot. Man, over here at the shipper, man, I was waiting on another driver, man, to pull in here. Man, it's rough, man. Some of these warehouses are small, but you gotta put your driving skills to work, man, to get in here. So I'm next, like right out to him. So, man, I, I might have to wait on him. It don't look like two trucks can fit in there. So, man, it's kind of tight. So, man, we're gonna see what happened, man. Stay tuned, man, see what I got, man. Hey, it's rough out here, man, in the trucking world sometimes. The things you got to do just to get loaded, you know what I mean? So, man, he looked like he got it in there. Yeah, he had, he had to put on some work to get it in there, man. If you had to back this 53 up, this ain't like them doubles where you just go straight. You know, man, he got it in there. He looked like he doing good now, man. He had to go to work, man, just to get it in there, but he did good, man. I think he got straight now, got lined up with the dock. Man, they got like low trees hanging down, man. It's like a small warehouse that you got to get into. So, man, he did good. He got it in there now. I might have to go in there and talk to him, see what I got to do. I might have to wait for him to get loaded. So, I'm going to see what's going on. Man, I just walked up to see what I'm going to have to do, man. It's like a unusual dock, man, they got over here. We got the bag in from the street. Man, let me show you what he had to do just to get in here, man. It's not like a, not a lot of room. And this whole lot, so you can't get back there, you can't get your truck in there to turn around. So you're gonna have to back in from the street. And they got low hanging trees over there too, man. That's a that's a problem. I was looking at them trees, like man, what's really going on? So he had to back his truck in like down that hill, down that dock right there. So I'm gonna have to wait till he get loaded. They got two docks, but it's definitely not big enough for two trucks to get in there. So man, I'm gonna have to wait on him, man. It's definitely ugly. They got these low-hanging trees down here too. So I'm gonna have to turn around and probably come from the side like he did. Man, put my skills into work, man. I park right there. So I'm gonna have to make a block. Man, I'm gonna spin the block and come back around. Man, when he get loaded, then I back in after him. All right, man, I'm about to back Big Blue, man, into this spot over here, man. Let's see what's going on. I gotta back up off the street. There's not a whole lot of room over here, so. Man, we're gonna see what's going on, man. Let me get it. Let me show you my skills. Show you these skills, man, these trucking skills, man, which I'm gonna have to put into work for backing in this dock over here.
start teaching lessons in a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to start doing some classes, man. Y'all gotta be watching these videos. Man, y'all gonna be a truck driver, man, before you know it, man. You got to back that thing off the street and get it in there, man. It's kind of rough. It takes some patience and everything, man, just to get it in there. Man, I got it in there, though. We get on the other side. See, it ain't that much room over there. There's not enough room for another truck to get in there. Man, you just have to be patient. Be patient, man. Take your time. Back up slow. Uh, you need to get out and look, man. If you can't see, if you ain't sure where you at, you definitely need to get out and look, man. So let me go check in. Make sure they get loaded, man, so I can be ready to go. Man, my man about to get me loaded right now. So, man, I'm all good, man. They got a nice little warehouse in there, man. I don't know what type of freight, man, they putting on here. I'm going to have to check it out, read the bills, or uh, check it out when he come back over here. But he got a couple pallets he gonna load in on me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be good to go. Man, stay tuned, man. I'm gonna let you see what it look like when he get through. Man, this the whole process, man. I'm out here, man. I'm out here. Don't be surprised if you're doing something else, man. Hey, I got to follow the money, man. You already know what it is, man. I'm gonna see how much he put on here. Man, I'll turn it back on when he get through. All right, man, I'm loaded up, man. I got a whole truck load, man. Don't play no games, man. Let me pull out close these doors. I'm good to go. Let's see what they got up there. Yes, sir. Man, it's one other thing. When you get your load, man, you gotta adjust your tandems on your truck. I know nobody never showed you that, man. Let me show you how to adjust your tandems on here. They got the button, air ride button under the bottom, man. You pull the air ride and it's gonna release the pin for you to uh, slide. There we go. That's the air ride button. And then when I pull it, the pin is gonna release slide that pin in and I can slide the tandem. I'm going to release that pin and then it's going to lock it back in there. I'm going to show you what it looks like. When I back up on the trailer, it's going to lock that pin back in the hole. I was in the third hole, so now I got 44,000 pounds, so I'm going to put it in number 10. Like each hole on the trailer is a different weight, so when you got your weight, it's uh, 34,000, I mean, um, 44,000, you got to adjust your weight to get your weight right on your tractor, on your trailer. So I'm going to back up and let that pin lock in there. Man, I got my doors closed on this thing. I'm good to go, man. I'm good to ride back. Man, straight back to Memphis, man. I'm on the way, dog. I always stay moving, man. I'll cut it back on when I get halfway or back to Memphis or something, man. We'll see what happens. Back out here at the fuel stop. Man, let's see what the damage is. This is the second fuel stop for the day, man. $444, man. Damn, man. Man, I'll tell you, hey. That fuel going to be the biggest cost, man, in trucking. Ain't no way to get around it, man. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Let me make sure I got my, my other tank closed up. Okay, cool, cool. I'm good to go. Man, right, I'm back on it. Second fuel stop for two days. Every day, man, I just spend it four, five hundred dollars. Hey, you going to feel something, man. Let me get back on it, man. I just had to show how much that fuel cost was. Yes, sir. Man, make it down here to Memphis. Man, I've been doing a little bit of rolling, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the drop yard, man. I got to drop this trailer off right quick. Let me back this thing in here, man, so I can get up out of here.
up a big loop for the day. Man, drop this trailer off. Make sure everything good over there, man. Look like everything good, man, in the drop yard. Man, Derek out with another video. Man, I here with Big Blue, man. Until the next time. Man, peace out, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Man, I got some other videos coming in a minute. I got something new coming up. Man, check me out, man. Peace out.